hi welcome and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm sharing with you how i trimmed my hair for the beginning of this year so i started on detangled hair from my flat twist style which i had in for over two months and i like to let the water run through my hair so that it can get thoroughly wet before i proceed with shampooing my hair so that's what you can see here and one of my favorite parts of wash day actually. So I go in with the Weedard Coil Infusion Shampoo. This is a clarifying shampoo and I clarify my hair at least once a month. I also wash my hair once a month. I know a lot of people don't like using shampoo but you need to thoroughly cleanse your hair to get all products out of your hair. I personally use a lot of product in my hair so it's important for me to cleanse properly and clarify my hair. I love the coil infusion shampoo because even though it's a clarifying shampoo it's super moisturizing and I'm able to manipulate my hair whilst I wash it. Um, I can even finger detangle my hair whilst washing so I love it for that. So I'm rinsing the shampoo out of my hair and then I'm gonna go in again the second time around you should always shampoo your hair twice. Sometimes I don't do it because I'm lazy, but most days I do. So as you can see, the second time around, there's more lather, which just shows that my hair is, is cleaner. I'm just squeezing the shampoo out of my hair. And yeah, don't you just love that feeling of just water running down your scalp? I love it. So my hair is all clean and I'm just trying to show you my little coils. <laughs> so once that's done, I twist it away and then wash the other side. I then follow up with the G 2 Minute Reconstructing Protein Treatment. I got this to try. This is my first time using it and I love it. I always do a protein treatment every time I wash my hair but I don't always want to use it, um, use a protein treatment that's gonna have to sit on my hair for a long time. So when this says it's two minutes, I used it for that reason. I probably left it on my hair for 20 minutes, but yeah, it did what it was supposed to do. My hair was very soft after and really strengthened as well. And that's really what you want. So once again, I never miss a protein treatment and neither should you. So this is my hair after rinsing out the protein treatment and a few days after washing my hair as well because I always um, leave my hair a few days to moisturize because I'm a mom and I just can't seem to do things you know in continuity. Things always get broken up into little um, situations so yeah that's that. So as you can see my hair has a lot of shine, I've not moisturized it yet, this is just from washing and my protein treatment so yeah i don't know what else to tell you never miss a protein treatment or any type of deep conditioning for that matter at least once a month you really really need it so i go in with the we want easy from the do this is a heat treatment and also a leave-in conditioner it's not very greasy at all and yeah i loved it for that reason because sometimes when i use a heat protectant it sort of like wets my hair too much and then i have to use a lot of heat to dry it before it stretches out my hair but i didn't have to do that with this i also go in with this chi silk infusion hair serum i love it but it's tiny and it was super expensive and then I followed up with my um, Tresemme heat protectant, which is the only heat protectant that I've used for a long time. The first two products was my first time using those two products. So as you can see, my ends were looking pretty bad. It was caused by the beads that I used for my previous style. They really wreaked havoc on my ends. So that's why I need this trim. And I also want to embark on a wash and go journey this year. And to do wash and goes, you need your hair to not have sort of any knots and stuff so that it can be easy to style. As you can see, my hair looks really smooth. 
and not very frizzy other than my ends but yeah I love these products together so I'm gonna be using them um, for my blowouts from now on so this is day two and I was up last night up till around 3 a.m. blowing out my hair and this is the result I am going to take it all out and comb it so I can proceed to give myself a proper trim now there's this video that I followed two years ago to trim my hair and I'll show you the picture of um, my wash and go after that trim so you can sort of get an idea of the shape that it gave me when you google trimming natural not google when you put search on youtube trimming natural hair she's literally the first person to pop up so her channel is called deeper than hair tv and this video is how to trim your own ends at home and it's her most asked video and it has over 2 million views so you know the girlies needed it so yeah i am going to follow that video again to trim my hair because the last style that i did really did a number on my ends my ends were like really really knotted i've got a lot of single strand knots and to just start this year we need to start on a you know on a clean slate and you know i need the volume and all that and i love a clean end as well so that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna follow this video step by step and if you want to trim your hair and do it yourself and do it right i suggest you go follow this lady um so yeah let's get right into it. i'm gonna take my hair out comb it out so that um i can then go ahead and follow her video so this is my hair after taking out the twists. It's very fluffy. I loved the shape here. I love the length. I lost a lot of it from this trim. I loved how fluffy it was. I'm just really annoyed I had to trim because the plan last year was to grow my hair. And what's the point in growing your hair just to trim it all away again? So yeah, this is the result and this is me posing for my thumbnail as well. So to start, so this is what my ends are looking like. I brushed it all out. So it's not too bad when you look at it because I think it's held the, the trim that I did um, a few months ago really well. But I just need to get rid of these single strand knots. So the video that I used, it says to, to start at the crown. So that's what I'm doing, just sectioning the crown off to start the trim. As you can see, it was a struggle to like get everything in frame, but that's my ends at the crown. My crown has always been a problem area, but over the years I've managed to sort of like improve the thickness. If you want me to do a video about how I've improved the thickness of my hair, I am happy to share that with you, but let me know for sure. So I'm just twisting the rest of my hair away so I can deal with the, the front part and the crown. So I'm just getting ready to trim the crown area. And a problem that I kept having was because it was so long, it kept sort of like blocking my view. <laughs> so I couldn't really see what I was doing and what I needed to trim so that's what I was trying to figure out here that was not fun so I finally figured it out and here we go with the first trim yeah still very much struggling So here she put a line here and then she separated here down to her ears and then she matched the hair that she'd cut from the crown with the hair that she's about to cut here and then she trimmed it that way so that's what I'm about to do hopefully I can see 
where I cut from the crown. So I think this is probably the hair that I cut here. Guys, yeah, so I thought I was recording. I clearly wasn't. So I'm just gonna do it on the other side for you guys to see. Look how it. And then you're supposed to um, measure it with the with the hair that you've cut from your crown, and then cut from there. So that's about there, isn't it? This is like the hair that I cut from the crown. So it's about there. Okay, so that's it. Let's see what the next step is. Okay, so next, she goes back to the first um, cut that she did, but then takes a lot more hair from the crown area um, at the back. So that's what I'm going to do as well. So this is the line. I don't think it's very neat but that's all I can do I don't really have a mirror and then I've combed my hair out so this is what I am going to cut off So my baby's crying so I have to go. It's um, 4 a.m. I think. So I'm just going to twist my hair up and then go feed him and then come back. So I'm back from feeding my son. So what she did next was to part hair down at the middle at the back. I'm going to let this down and then let this back hair down. Okay, so she part her hair down the middle which I should really have a natural part there already and then I hope that was in frame because I have no idea and then she combed the hair to the front like so And then based on whatever has been trimmed from the top, you should use that line of demarcation to do the trim here as well. So it says you should see a line of demarcation from where you previously cut from at the top. Gosh, this is so hard. And then I'm 
got to do I'm going to go in again yeah I really wish there's somewhere I could go to get my hair trimmed but where I live we just don't have any sort of like black or natural hair um, sort of salons that I could go get it done that's the only reason why I do this myself if there was somewhere I could go I would um, I am not able to travel because of so, obviously I've got two kids and it's just not priority right that. now I'm gonna do the same but definitely in the near future when the kids oh, are a lot bigger um, and they could both be in like nursery and I could be away doing stuff like this I would do it the first time around that I used this video to trim my hair it was perfectly fine it was an amazing trim my hair came out in amazing layers I don't know what I was doing here I was just doing rubbish and I think because I was in a hurry as well that did not help okay, so I think I've done it so I'm gonna do the same for this side I'm I think for a lot of this I was just struggling with like the positioning of my hand that was a, a huge struggle for me and that's where it went wrong <laughs> um, yeah because I was just twisting my hand around because that was what was comfortable for me but I needed to just keep my hand straight I was keep it I was twisting the hair around so that's why I've got this curve here and that's what made me like keep trimming because of that curve. So this is what it's looking like. Not bad. My ends feel amazing already. So we're going to move on to the next step so after that she basically just goes back to make sure that um that everything is neat so i'm just gonna follow the same so she goes in and she trims the shorter part of her hair so for me that's So here I was just going in to um, trim the the bangs which is a huge problem area for me for years it has because it's like the the part that falls out when I'm stressed the part that falls out during um, postpartum shedding so it's always in some kind of condition and I'm always like growing it out so it was important for me to go in and trim because there's a lot of shorter hairs. What in the world? The video says to like separate the hair in two and then sort of like put a little bit of layers in. I feel like I could have put a bit more layers in but because my first cut was so layered, I think she I was trying to like get away from that a little a bit. Little so I didn't do too situation. much. Like here. But when it came to the bottom of the hair, so that was when I was doing entirely it. too much. So I'm gonna go like that. Okay, and I'll do the same. I can't cut with my left, my goodness. So how I'm holding the hair here, that's really how I should oh no. be holding. I should have been holding the rest of my hair when I was trimming. <laughs> so that's why I ended up with that problem at the, at the bottom, which made me keep cutting hair that I didn't need to be cut. And then I think she went under she went under like around here so this I should have really skipped there was no need to do all of this and what ended up happening was that 
what this lady was doing was actually cutting really really short hairs at the back but what I was doing was actually cutting my actual hair <laughs> not shorter hairs or like damaged hair that had been growing this was just real healthy hair that just was okay that I had already trimmed so what happened was the hair got um, shorter so my hair is sort of like a heart shape so it's longer like a v-shaped length at the back but because I kept going in and cutting um, the hairs in that area the middle hair became longer than that part so it messed up with the shape of my hair I will show you um, at the end what I mean and I didn't realize until I took my hair out of flat twists that's when I actually realized that oh this is what my hair is looking like but yeah there was really no need for any of this I should have just left I should have just stopped when I just did all that it's a really easy trim but I managed to mess it up because I just couldn't see what I was doing I was in a hurry because it was really late in the morning I think it was around like 4 a.m. by now I guess next time if I still haven't found a hairdresser or like managed to travel to get my hair done I will have to use this technique again but just I'm be gonna blow careful. my hair out again because it's gone very frizzy just to see what it's really looking like so I've gone and blown out this side again just to really see what my ends look like and that looks pretty good to me so I think I'm just gonna just gonna leave it as it is so the shape that I was I talking about this is it like, like because I was like turning my hair in a dodgy way it really messed up the shape of my hair and then I was like fixing this thing until I jacked up fine. everything <laughs> I like that blunt cut at the bottom so I might try and get that effect I don't think you can see so I might try and perfect my blunt cut down here because I like that look I'm still twisting my hands goodness, still twisting the hair yeah. so I don't even know <laughs> After trimming this part, the hair actually looked okay, which I'm shocked by because I was still twisting it. So, so because I was like fixing a lot, I ended up just cutting a lot of my hair, which was just so unnecessary. So this sort of like fixed a little bit, it wasn't too bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same to the other side and then I will come back. Yeah, I like what that's looking like. Just gonna twist it up. My battery is dying. Twist this up and then do the other side. So here is the final look. So all my ends are trimmed and fresh. And yeah, I am ready to start my wash and go journey as that's what I have planned for this year. So my next video might be a wash and go or a flat twist style with beads because my hair is easier to style when stretched. So I might do a flat twist style, but we shall see and until then i am going to bed <laughs> because i've been up for way too long so what i'm gonna do so i think i'm just gonna keep this part in and do um probably six braids and just call it a day <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and if you've not subscribed yet please subscribe definitely check out that video if you want to trim your hair you don't want to mess it up and also let me know when is the last time you trimmed your hair let this be your sign to go trim your hair in case you're keeping onto dead ends 
you don't need that all they're gonna do is stunt the growth of your hair if you want healthy hair you gotta get rid of all those knots and split ends and yeah don't forget to subscribe i think i said that already and i shall see you in my next video bye so here's the back of my hair after trimming it so as you can see the hair is like folded in so you don't really see the actual shape of my hair and i didn't see this either but i found out that the middle part was longer than the back so it really messed up the shape of my hair so i lost that v shape at the back of my hair